Hello everyone and welcome back to my creative video. As you all know, Tuesday morning had a sale on Sunday and their main flyer showed that they had some Sizzix dies. So I went there hoping to find a lot of Sizzix dies, but I didn't find that many. Um, but what I did find were the cutting pads. They had both the standard cutting pad and then they also had the extended cutting pad. And I was also able to pick up a pineapple puncher from Little B. And I have so many plans for this, but that's going to have to wait until the weekend. And then I was able to pick up this Sizzix die. Um, so they only had one of these. I'm not really familiar with these, but does it normally come with this piece of paper in the back? Um, picked that up and then I picked it up because I knew I was going to do lots of great projects with it so it's just kind of messing around with it and this is what I came up with so far so it's going to be really great for birthdays, wrapping presents, I really just wanted to use it as a belly band over a present like this um, but then I figured maybe I can make some of these cute little crowns for like a cousin's birthday and then of course the main attraction at Tuesday morning was the Fabby so I don't have a big shot machine at all. I do have the cuddle bug, a smaller Sizzix machine, but I wasn't able to use any of these big dies, so that's why I wanted to buy this. Well, actually, I wasn't expecting to buy it. Um, I was expecting just to buy the dies, but they didn't have any, so I figured might as well pick this up. So this was the major selling point. It was able to fit all of these different dies on there. It came with a free die, um, and then this is basically the contents that are in the box. So you do get your cutting mats, you get your instruction booklet, you get the um, Sizzix die, which is this one right here, and then of course the machine itself and some of the tools to put it together. So there is some assembly required, and basically we're gonna just put these all together like this. to test it out, so I'm gonna have to build that sandwich. Wait, not that type of sandwich. Okay, so this is the right sandwich. Okay, so we have our first cutting mat, and then we have our die, which is facing up, and then I had this um, in my stash, which is basically just like fabric on adhesive, and then you close that out with the last cutting mat, and then you just roll it on through, and I think it just came out perfectly. So I hope you guys subscribe and stay for the long haul. Thanks again for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.